Hey guys, it's your boy Johnny Reyes, back again with another episode. Today I will be doing the wiring and half install on my Motor Guide XI3 with Spotlock. Um, this might be a two-part video recorded in two days, where I get my one objective bow mount, which hasn't come in yet. But for now, I'm going to be working on drilling and wiring for my Motor Guide XI3. Here's my kayak fully unrigged. It's a 2021 Hobie Outback. So the plan is to get the Motor Guide XI3 up there with a one objective bow mount with a quick release. Have the wiring run, run through here, through an outlet and connector. And I'll do all the wiring underneath here to the breaker, which will be probably around there. And then I will have the wiring come up through here and come out and go to my 100 amp hour battery box, which is right here. And the Black Pack Pro is gonna be behind it. And I'll show you how it all comes together. So the so the parts I got, most importantly, the Motor Guide XI3. This is the GPS with Spotlock, freshwater option. Um, the Marine Co connector for the trolling motor. Uh, wire loom cover to clean it up and make it look clean uh, some 8 gauge butt connectors 8 gauge wire positive and negative uh, for the rear connection on the battery I'm just going to go with Anderson connectors because my battery box could go right there so I'm just going to have it plug into this uh, a drill basically Basic electrician's kit, Anderson plugs, um, the step up drill, where I'm going to drill into the kayak for the Marine Co. Uh, what is this? The circuit breaker right here. Buy on Amazon for like 20 something dollars. Uh, the battery I'm running is a Redodo 12. Let me see. 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour. Once again, guys, this is not really a how-to install. It's kind of like you kind of know basic stuff and you have the gist of what I'm about to do. I guess it's just good for pointers of uh, how to install it on an Outback. And, um, yeah. All right, let me take some uh, basic measurements. I'm going to take the motor guide and figure out where it's going to be on the kayak without the one objective bow mount. So if I had to estimate, it would be somewhere around here. So therefore I could um, kind of eye how much wire I would need to tap into the plug. All right, guys, I don't see just need a foot. So you'll see on the motor guide, there's a power, there's a hot wire with a red. That's gonna be my red connector, negative for ground. And then it's gonna go plug into the battery. I mean, sorry, the plug and the Marine Co plug, which I'm gonna mount right around here. Let me uh, get this uh, stripped and uh, plugged all right guys and I, I know I'm using butt connectors to, to join the wires but it's also important to use um, heat shrink tubing which I'm about to use on top of it then after that I'll protect it with the wire cover give it some swag as well all right guys we're just gonna slide our uh, heat shrink over this as so. All said and done, our connection should look something like this, very secure. And then we repeat the process on the other side. And we're gonna take our plug to the trolling motor plug and receptacle 
plug in. We're going to wire this up to the two wires. All right, guys, it was a pain in the ass getting the plug receptacle out of the plug, the male end. But uh, the instructions say you plug it into the female end, then you unwiggle it to the unlocked position to the left, I believe. So there's one and two marked on the back. One, you put the ground, two is power. All right, guys, we're gonna look something like this. Two is power, one is ground. Let's put the cover back on. All right, guys, we've got the dust cover back on. I'm just gonna secure this back with electrical tape. By the way, the eight gauge wire had a hard time fitting through it, so I had to trim a little bit to get both to fit. So the electrical tape should secure it, give it a little more added security. All right, guys, I electrical taped it. Now I will put the wire cover to make the whole wiring, the plug assembly look really clean. All right, guys, here it is with the wire cover installed. I put an electrical tape here at the connection, just a little bit there, uh, some in the middle to secure it, and one at the end over here. And then, uh, yeah, now let's, we're gonna drill into here for the female end and the plug will go right there. Okay. So here's the female end of the Marine Co plug, trolling motor plug. I'm gonna have it mounted right here. And if you see underneath the should protrude here. I'm actually kind of scared about this, but uh, let's get it going. We'll use a step up drill. I just want to be sure that the pedals don't hit the plug. And it looks like we've got enough clearance, so it should work out. All right, guys, this is a step up bit. It's attached to my drill that I got from Harbor Freight on the cheaps. Let's uh, get this hole drilled into here. I made a little pilot hole already. I, I just eyed it, I didn't even do nothing to measure it. All right, guys, I feel so ashamed doing this, drilling a hole into my boat on a $3,500 kayak, but um, it fits the female plug, female end. So I'm gonna secure it with two screws. And then what I'm gonna do is put marine goop around the side. The stuff that I use to um, secure my Burley Pro at the bottom. I'm just gonna take a dab of it and go around, give it some added security. All right guys, and remember one is always the ground wire, two is power, okay? There you have it. I'm just gonna electrical tape it up and secure it a little bit more. There we go, guys. Now we could pass it along through the hole. Make sure uh, you give yourself enough cable wiring to reach the back where you're, wherever the battery is gonna be. Just secure it down with the two screws and I'll put marine goop to kind of uh, secure it and protect it from the elements. There it is guys, marine goop. I'm going to take a coffee stirrer and just uh, apply it evenly around the edges of that uh, female plug. Alright, looks kind of messy but it'll dry up. But it's all gooped up ready to go now we need to find a place for the breaker um, I think my battery box has a breaker built in but it doesn't hurt to have two so I think I might just uh, double-sided tape it with th with some 3m automotive to the side of the kayak and I'm, it's probably to go here honestly oh, open up you bastard it's probably to go like right under here it's probably to go on the side right over here that's a bilge pump guys always keep one on you just in case you never know what can happen alright guys for this job I got some uh, connectors like this with heat shrink tubing 
And remember, negative just goes all the way to your trolling motor and battery, the red wire, the hot wire, goes to the actual circuit breaker. Alright guys, when it's all said and done, you should have something that looks like this. So the auxiliary goes to your uh, trolling motor, and bat goes to the battery, obviously. And there's the breaker, and the negative never touches this, okay? So... Negative has nothing to do with this. It's all positive battery, the hot wire right there. So if something were to shut off or whatever happens, you could reset with the breaker here. And again, I'm not sure if my battery box has a built-in circuit breaker. I think it does, but this is just added security. All right, guys, now um, the wiring to the battery, I'm not gonna use that transducer thing. I'm actually just gonna use the through-hole wiring cable guide. It might have been easier through here, but I think it'll look a lot more cleaner using the through hole that Hobie provided with the Outback. So we'll just use this. All right, guys, I have it like this. That's my transducer cable. And here's a negative positive, and these wires will run to the battery. Use rubber grommets, honestly. Needed Jesus to fit these wires, so I'm just gonna electrical tape the holes. All right, guys, this part, I'm going to attach those wires to some Anderson connectors, which will go to the built-in connectors in my battery box over here. So I'll get that rigged up right now. I'd imagine positive goes with positive. So the hot wire to the plus and the ground to the negative, just in case you guys didn't know. All right, guys, all said and done. The connector should look like this. All right, guys, I'm going to use this uh, wire covering to make it look clean, cover up the wiring, make it look like one loom. I like to use this stuff even in computer builds. All right, guys, here's the Anderson connector with a wire cover. Electrical tape the ends, some portions in the middle. Here's my 100 amp hour battery for reference. And it'll plug in just like that. Can't go wrong. Actually, you can, because I had the negative to the positive. <laughs> Man, get in there. There we go. It's all hooked up. So the battery goes down into the hole through this Hobie through hole. And then under the dash in the cockpit area, I have my circuit breaker, just in case. I know the battery probably has a built-in circuit breaker, but better be safe than sorry. And then it goes up through here into my Marine Co. plug. And then here is the trolling motor. And there's a connector for that. Let's see if it works. Cool. We got power to the trolling motor, guys. Full battery. Uh, power on. I didn't realize you have to press down the reset switch on that circuit breaker. I'm a retard. But, uh, yeah, it's powered up. Let me uh, test out the functions. Alright, guys, so the one objective mount still coming in the mail. It works. I'm going to calibrate it in the water when everything else is good. Oh no! We have full power. I want to put my finger in it. Nah, I'm just kidding. That's my girlfriend helping me support it without the one in... She's my one objective mount right now. But yeah, we got, we got power. It's alive, baby. And that's the whole wiring for the Hobie Outback, guys. I hope you could take it with a grain of salt and try to apply it yourself if you're thinking about mounting a MotorGuide XI3. But uh, yeah, guys, thanks for joining me.